Hey YouTube! Hi! Yeah. So, today I'm on a quest to find an old sawmill. There would be a pond in that direction. And apparently there's a couple sawmills that used to be uh, nearby that pond. So I'm on a adventure to find where the sawmill or sawmills used to be. And here's a trail. So I might have to do a bit of bushwhacking to uh, get to the grounds. That's if I can even find the grounds. It might be a bit too thick. But if I do, and if I find anything good with my metal detector, I will film it. So here's the pond I was just talking about. I don't even know what the pond is called. I'm just going to call it mill pond. See that? Right there? That's not a beach. That's not a sandy beach. That's sawdust. And that's been there for oh, a very long time. Yeah. So here I am. We're next to the pond. Will I find the sawmill grounds? Who knows? But I am actually standing on a big old tire. <laughs> on a bog. Alright, let's see if we can find the sawmill grounds, shall we? So now I'm on this rocky shore type of thing. From what I know, one of the mills was near one of these rivers. Not too sure which one. Might be down there. Up in the up ahead. I had to check it out, I guess. So I had no clue where the old mill used to be. Huh. Alright. Let's keep on searching. I just walked along the rocky shore there and now I'm on the other side. And uh, yeah, some solace there. I don't know. It's pretty soft. I'm gonna get stuck in that. If you look close enough, in the water there's some old boards. I don't know if that was from uh, the mill or a house. I have no idea. So I am pretty close to a, uh, I guess you would you can call it old house site. Now that I look at it, this pond is not very deep, but I can tell you one thing, it's very, very muddy. And that's partially because there's a lot of sawdust in this pond. And I mean a lot. Also a lot of wood, like, board in this pond too. It's pretty interesting. Hmm. All right, the search continues. Hey guys, I just uh, found this porcelain, uh, I think it might have been a mug at one time. In main China right there, that was in the water. Huh, that's pretty cool. Oh, upside down. There it is, made in Japan, I mean. Nice little porcelain relic. Shame's not intact. Most of the time it's not. <laughs> you gotta be extremely lucky to find a fully intact mug or plate out here. <laughs> if there's any at all. Alright, found myself an old bottle here. Oh my, this one here. Yeah, this one here is old. Got that uh, inward uh, thing on the go on the bottom. Sweet. Look at that. You never know what you're going to find when you uh exploring. If that was fully intact, I would, probably would have brought that home. It's missing the top, the portion of the neck, unfortunately. But that's an old bottle, though. I'm gonna look for more now. <laughs> look for more relics in the water. 
This is awesome. This is what the Tecton's all about, folks. Looking for history. At least you should be. Unless you're looking for treasure. I'll look for a little bit of both. <laughs> Alright. I think I see another bottle. I'm in water now, people. I'm almost up over my boots. Look at that. That's a almost intact mug. And uh, there's a bottle there. Uh, I tried to give away the stick, and now it's all muddied up, so I need to wait till that clears up. Wow. This is awesome. <laughs> Shame that I almost gotta get wet to find it. <laughs> I think the mill could have been right here actually. There's a lot of the stuff in this water, in this particular area. Alright, what's uh what's the attempt to retrieve these relics? Yeah. So I just retrieved the the mug. There it is. Nice. It's almost fully intact, it's just missing the handle. And look at the bottom here. It says, made in occupied Japan. So, what does that mean? Does that mean that it's made when the Americans occupied Japan at, uh, shortly after the war? Or was it the pre war, like back in the 1800s or something? I don't know. Could be uh, right after the World War II, I think. It was probably late 40s, perhaps. Where it is, this mug is definitely a keeper. This is my first intact uh, vintage mug. <laughs> I'm loving this, folks. I'm loving it. I'm gonna try to get that bottle now and see what else I can find around here. I managed to get the bottle. It's almost fully intact. Just got a couple chips there on the top, that's all. Underneath it says Coots and Sons, I believe. Awesome. Uh, this and that the uh, the mug is a keeper for sure. I'm gonna even bring home this one here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's find some more. <laughs> My goodness, look how well preserved the stick is. I just hauled this out of the water. It was, uh, most of it was covered underneath the sawdust. And look at that. It's like it was put there yesterday, sure. The other end is, uh, <laughs> shows his age. But the rest, it's mint. Wow. That was probably put there when the mill was still in operation. Which means this is. This piece of wood here is probably 60 years old, and not older, maybe. I'm no expert, but still pretty cool. So I was using my detector in the water a little bit. Got a pretty good signal, and this is what popped up. It's like a keychain tag, I believe. And the year on it, 1970. 1979, 1970, I think. Still a little bit too dirty. Hold on. Let's get cleaned up a bit. Uh, I think it's 1970. Awesome. This is deposit deposit any mailbox. Okay. The War Amps of Canada. 140. Merton Street, Toronto, Ontario. Okay. It's from Canada. Interesting. I think it would be probably uh, something you put on your uh, mailbox key, I can imagine. Awesome. Let's find some more. Hey guys, I'm on a retrieval mission now to get those bottles because I couldn't really bring it up through there and through that woods up there is this way too hard. Might end up breaking it. So the road is this up that way. And I'm, I'm just walking along the shoreline here, which is mostly sawdust. Anyway, I'm almost to where I put placed in uh, that uh, teacup and that bottle. 
Run back home with me. I'm far to go. All right. Let's see. I'm afraid I'm going to step in like a really soft spot and get stuck. But uh, I think I'm pretty good. I don't know what it's like up here, though. Whoa. These old 100 year old boards are pretty slippery, I'll tell you that. Huh. Sounds like a little bridge. That's better. Don't see any more bottles amongst these uh, slabs. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, as long as it don't slip. First person saw the swapping. Whoa! Well, that's a soft spot. And there's the dirt bike. Like I said, I'm pretty close to the road. Oh, that's that mint strip to haul out. And here we are, back at the spot. To get the loot. So, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you want to, you can subscribe to this wonderful channel of mine. I love subscribers. Let's try to get one million subscribers on this channel. <laughs> anyway, and uh, <laughs> don't forget to comment. I like reading your guys' comments. And I hope you guys have a great day. So, so long. Peace out. Bye.